A little while ago, Jameson Bissen released the Orbat and points costs for the Tanith and Codex that we are working on for 9th edition 40k. Unfortunately, and probably because we released it as a text file, no one wants to touch it in the slightest because text files are far too 1980s for people's tastes now, I guess. However, we really need people to use the army list in its current form so that we can tweak it and fix it and add in all of the other bits that we need. So hi, I'm Ed Scar and I'm downstairs with my nice big table so I can lay out my entire Tanith First and Only Force and go through the army list to show exactly how it works. So whilst I get my soldier dolls out, I'll point you in the direction of the Gaunt's Ghosts fan Facebook page and Discord server. Particularly on the Discord server, we post all of the stuff we come up with, and we've got a few people who throw ideas and suggestions around. And if you have any interest at all in having the Tanith fan codex succeed, please pop past and weigh in. Grab the stuff we have so far and put it to use. In the current version, you need that TXT file I mentioned, and some of the data sheets that are posted above it, which I'm going to use through my models now. Starting with, as you might expect, the official 2021 plastic model set, which crazily has the 1st, 2nd and 3rd in command of the regiment in one squad, and anyone who's ever used these with the official rules in a game can tell you they all get taken out by the 3rd turn. And so, with the fan codex, we split these up, giving Gaunt, Rawn and Corbeck the character keyword, and then putting Larkin in the sniper squad, McColl in a scout squad, and Bragg in an infantry squad, and I will detail all those as we get to each one. First up, Colonel Commissar Ibram Gaunt himself. With using largely the same stats and rules as the official set, but with the character and voice of command special rules. He costs 65 points, or for an additional 5 points, you can upgrade his chainsword to the Power Sword of Hieronymo Sondar, which I will. Colonels Colm Corbeck and Elim Rawn both get character and voice of command as well, but are otherwise not really changed very much and weigh in at 45 points each. Another character for HQ slot is Commissar Victor Hark, who is run as a Lord Commissar from the Imperial Guard Codex. I've given him a plasma pistol, so 40 points plus 5. And you can certainly give him a close combat weapon as well, it would be standard issue for a Commissar after all. The next character is from the No Force Organization section, and you can have only one, a Ministorum Priest, representing a Atani's Wheel. Now at the moment I'm using the official Codex version for 40 points, but we also have a data card for specifically Zweel version of the Ministorum Priest. If you'd like that version, it's on the Discord somewhere. My last character, Commissar Nehim Lud, takes an Elise slot, using the official Codex entry for a Commissar. Lud does use different pistols over the books, but I'm sticking with the Munitorum issue bolt pistol, so Lud is 25 points. As an aside, this is the latest model I've made as of recording, and I think it came out rather well. Taking another look in the No Force Organization slot, we have Command Squads and Scion Command Squads. Any officer, Rawn, Corbeck, as well as Company and Platoon Commanders, can take a Command Squad each, and Gaunt can take a Scion Command Squad, but I don't have any models for that yet. So I will take a normal Command Squad. But this will actually be Dorden's Squad with Kulkis from the Blue Bloods. Whilst I'm sure that guard players will be complaining that I'm not filling these with four special weapons, this is Dorden's little team, so it's just a command squad plus a medipack until we get Dorden's datasheet sorted, 25 points plus five, totaling 30. With that all wrapped up, let's move on to the core of my army, the Tanith Trooper Squads, and for these, you'll need to grab our datasheet. These all have 10 models, with Sergeant and the options for one special and one heavy weapon, as well as Vox and a limited medipack, and these squads have a base cost of 70 points. Just a quick mention of the limited medipack, essentially identical to the normal medipack from the command squad, but this version can only be used on the unit the medipack is in, whereas the command squad medic can affect other squads as well. The first squad is mostly my classic 2002 metal models. So there's a plasma gun in there at 10 points, due to ballistic skill of 3+, plus, and the heavy weapon slot is taken by Bragg as a named trooper for 20 points. Total, 100. B squad is all of my pun models. I've got limited medipack for 5 points, long last for 2, and the heavy weapon is a mortar for 10, totaling 87 points. 
Next squad is a Heavy Bolter for 10, Long Last for 2, and Anna Kurth. But until we get a data sheet for her, she counts as just having the limited medi pack for 5 points. Total, 87 points. Last squad is the only one who actually has a Vox for 5 points, because I need to paint all of my other Vox specialists, still. But the Flamer for 5 and the Auto Cannon for 10 makes this a 90 point squad. With the boring out of the way onto Elites, with a special weapon squad as per the official codex, with three flamers costs 49 points. Now for the true specialty of the Tanith, the Scout Squad. Again, you will need to find our data sheet for the Scout Squad. The base cost here is 90 points because of all of the cool rules we dropped in, plus 20 points for McCall coming in as a named trooper. This squad also has two melters and a heavy flamer for 10 points each, and that comes to 140 points, which is a lot for infantry. Hopefully, they pull that weight. I actually have a second scout squad here, but these are just my leftover models filling in. Somewhat embarrassing for Val, the sergeant here, but for 10 points each, there's just two plasma guns, and so this is 110 points. Another speciality of the Tanith is the snipers. With our data card that you'll have to find, they have some pretty cool rules. With a base cost of 55 plus 20 for Larks as named Trooper, and the snipers take up a heavy support slot. And lastly for the models is a heavy weapon squad, as per the official codex, with three tread feathers is 65 points. And so, my grand total is 1,003 points. Marvellous, just perfect for a mid-sized game. But some of you might notice that I have four headquarter slots, four troops, four elites, and two heavy support. Now that can't fit into any of the detachments. But if I drop one HQ slot, then I could nicely fit into the battalion detachment. So, sorry Corbeck, you're off the team. Sure as sure. So please do have a look and see if you can find an opponent to play this codex against. Just remember to apply our regimental trait of Cloak and Dagger so that all of your squads get straight silver and camo cloaks, and the Tube Charges stratagem for close encounters with big nasty things. Links will be in the description to the Facebook and Discord for the Tanith fan groups, although I expect most of you are already in them. Feel free to also post questions and suggestions in the comments of this video. I'm Edscar, always will be, and thank you very much for watching.